Okay, we've got the walls finished. We're going to add some doors and windows to this now. So we'll need some some layers to start off with. So let's use the layer properties button to create some new layers. <coughs> and we'll have win window we'll call this frame make that layer yellow okay and I'll make that current as well second layer to create window light and this is the objects that you would see looking down on a window frame if you'd sawn through it so this is the uh, kind of glass and framing at the bottom so I'll make that magenta. Uh, so I make that cyan coloured. I'll not make that current. <coughs> okay, that's ready to go. I'm gonna zoom in in this area and draw the window at this position. So I'm zooming very close. The window frames on this building are very small. I'm going to use a polyline for this, and that shortens the command P L because they're small sections of line. They're uh, Bit difficult to pick up, so keep them together using a polyline. So I started at that corner, I'm going to do a distance of 30, then across to this side by 50, and then back down. And I can use the perpendicular O snap to find that position. Press return. What I'll do now is draw a line across here, which represents the kind of windowsill outside. So everything's flush on this building, and it doesn't have the window sills like we would have. So that line should be on layer window light. Press escape, and then we'll mirror our frame across to the other side. So the command is MI and return. Pick the frame, return. Let your object snaps find the midpoint. Drag to the left or right, you can see the ghost appearing above. Select Return. Now if you make window light your current layer, and we want to join these together with three lines. The outer two lines represent the window frame looking down on them. Return twice in between. The middle line represents a sheet of glass. Yeah, it's fairly basic. We're not showing any clever detail at all there, but it's it's enough to make it look like a window. Okay, I'm going to copy those objects up to this gap for window here. So I'll just get it centered a wee bit. So copy that's CP, return, capture the window only, and return. Base point can be this position, position, destination this position, then press return. Now this window goes right down to the ground, so there wouldn't be a cell line here. But it needs to be strength lengthened. We use the stretch command for that. So it's S, return, capture all that area using a crossing window, and return. Base point the very bottom end of the window frame destination perpendicular so that's our first of our big windows we've got four of those another one two and three if I draw a line simple line from corner to corner and return I can use that for my mirror command MI return capture the new larger window and return base point is middle drag either up or down doesn't matter which order you do it in I'm gonna go to the left select return return twice sorry just return once I mean pick the two windows using the blue selection window Press return because you don't want to mirror, mirror anything else. First point of mirror line is the middle of this diagonal again. This time I'm going downwards, pick again, 
and return. We very quickly dropped in those additional windows. That's the only windows there are in this house. Um, doors left open, are letting more light in. Um, what we're going to look at now is how to create a doorway. Pretty simple one with frame and all the other detail. So we need a couple of windows for this. Sorry, a couple of layers. New layer, we'll call this door solid. So I'm going to use this for the door and its frame. I'll make this yellow so when we when we print out it uses a thicker line. I'll make that current. A second layer, this is for the door swing. This represents the path that the door takes as it moves in the room. I'm going to make this green so it's distinguishable from other objects. I'm also going to change the line type. So click the word continuous and you'll see there's only one line type loaded in the drawing at the moment. So click the load button. Scroll down until you see a line type called hidden x2. Click OK. Then click hidden x2, then OK. And when we draw on that layer, the line should be a broken line. Close the layers dialog. Now we want two door frames here. It's actually quicker just to draw both. So we're using polyline, so the PL return from endpoint up 50, orthos on by the way, across 100, down to the corner. Press return twice, do that again, coming down 50, across 100, back up to the corner and return. What I'm going to draw now is the actual door leaf. I'm going to draw this fairly fairly chunky so it's, it looks like a door when we look at the plan. So we can use the rectangle command. So REC return. Start your rectangle in the middle of the door. Take it to this corner. And I want to rotate that out the way. So RO, short for rotate. Pick the door and return and the base point is where the hinges would be on the door which is here and we're going 90 degrees clockwise which is minus 90 and return now the door swing can be drawn two ways either using an arc or a circle I find drawing with a circle much more predictable so change to the door swing layer then C and return, that's short for circle. Center of the circle will be where your hinges are. Select, move away, and pick this corner of the frame. Now, over here, it's a bit tricky. You can't really use trim. Things will get a bit untidy. So what you should do here is just draw two small lines to use with the trim command. So L, return, from endpoint, out the way and return. Return again. Line from here downwards. Select and return. You can now trim with a bit more surety. So TR return. Pick one, pick two, return, and then pick the bit you want to get rid of. Then press escape and we can delete the two lines that we used. Now the line type isn't showing up broken at the moment so we have to try and modify that and use the LTS command for this. So LTS return at the moment it's sitting at 1 I'm going to try 50. It's showing up now. Now this varies between versions. Okay, It's, very, it's a bit unpredictable, it's not the best programmed bit of the software. So to make bigger gaps here I need to increase the, the scale again. So LTS and let's try 150. Maybe even bigger. Let's try 400. 
Yeah, that looks better. Looks more looks more like the number of dashes you would draw yourself. Okay, now we just need to uh, copy this object around the the plan. So CP return one, two, three, four objects and return base point. I'm choosing corner of frame and wall. Destination point. Destination point. And the third one, I'll turn ortho off and just place it in the middle here. Then return. I want to rotate this one because it opens into this room. So RO return. Pick the object. Return. Base point in the middle. And this is a 90 degree rotation. Then we use move, so M return, pick the door and return. Base point, probably the safest one would be this end point, and take it to there. Okay, now the rest of the doors are done in a similar fashion. What I'm going to do is uh, put a door in this opening and leave the rest to be done by yourself so let's just copy the frame that'll be handy return use that place as the base point place it there it's a slightly bigger door opening so I need to move this frame return base point destination so we'll do the same thing just draw a rectangle. I need to put that onto its correct layer. Dot solid. And I'm going to rotate this by. It won't be 180. It'd look a bit strange for the door to open right back onto the wall. So select objects, return base point, and I think minus 85. Correct. Sorry, it should be add another 90 degrees to that. It should have been minus 175. Return base point another minus 90. Okay, then we draw our circle again. C return. Select there. Select there. And then in a similar way, just draw a line. Ortho doesn't need to be on for this return again as long as it comes from the correct corner it will still trim correctly then trim TR return pick the two cutters and return and chop off the bit you don't want press escape delete the two lines they've done their job and delete them I'm gonna pause the video and finish off the doorways and show you the finished plan Okay, there we have the final layout with all the doors in position, all done in similar fashion, really just copying them, rotating, mirroring uh, in the same way. The garage door, or the kind of driveway, doesn't show as a kind of an opening door, it was kind of showing that as a solid box in a similar way. Okay, next stage is to put some groundscape work onto this plan.